Original state though. You're gonna love it. That was, that was really cool, Mr. Martin said that because I never really talked to the guy, but we really did become pretty good friends during the week. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Molinaro and Mr. Martin because without them we wouldn't even be having this. I'd also like to thank everyone who encouraged me so I could be up here today. Let's give a quick hand. Yeah, like you said, my name's Dylan. I'm going to be doing some original stand up. It, it's a shame the sun couldn't be here to see this. <laughs> This shirt on mine is actually kind of cool because on the other side there's another button in case you lose one, so <laughs> apparently that's designed. <laughs> this is my Russian part of the show. Oh, I had a big bowl of Comrade Crunch this morning. <laughs> it's like the American Captain Crunch, but in Russia we use vodka instead of milk. <laughs> I think, I think the guy who invented animal crackers was just like at the zoo and was like, man, these animals look tasty. And I want to eat every one of them. And I want them dumped in milk. I, I like pizza. In fact, I like it so much that I'll get the roof of my mouth burned off every single time I eat it. Because I just don't have the patience to just sit around and stare at it. I just don't. So uh, I do like having her come out. I just like pizza more. <laughs> Speaking of food, did you ever have like a chip or some candy and you just drop it and it just goes to another dimension? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you just can't find it. You know, you'll throw out your back. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you'll just throw out your back. You'll straighten your neck, looking for it. Right? I shouldn't be getting hurt this easy. What am I, fragile? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh. You know, maybe you'll find it a week later and eat it. One week rule. It's like the five second rule, but way more hardcore. You know, you you know, germ sperms. You know, I'm tasting the rainbow. Yellow skills for life. You know, you know, when you pick it up, you just blow the germs off anyway. So. <laughs> they're, they're tiny, they can't hang on, they're just germs. Oh, there's my chip. I really like the sour cream and onion ones, but you get such bad breath from them. Your breath gets so bad that if you whisper in someone's ear, they'll get an ear infection. <laughs> Their face just melts off. <laughs> Junk food is bad for you, and I eat a lot of it. So I try and counter it by doing some healthy stuff. I've been trying to exercise more. I got involved in this weight bench, but recently ended up breaking ties with it. Just ended the relationship. I guess things between us just didn't work out. We're such big eaters in the nation, we're always like, oh, I couldn't eat another bite. But then right afterwards, they'll eat one more anyways. Just, just people really push their limits when they eat. And the only time I would recommend that is if you're like at a buffet or something. Because, you know, you got to get your money's worth. <laughs> Did you ever see yourself in a picture and you're like, is that really me? I look like that? My hair can part like that? My hair can't part like that, can it? Where's my eye going? Apparently I turned into a blob at around 11 last night. Is that my tongue out? Where did he have to be? Yeah, yeah, JC, JC knows all about that. Apparently I speak with my tongue out when I finish my sentence. Make, make sure you get a good night's sleep before a picture. But why is it whenever I have to get up to do something, just before I get up, I find like a sweet spot in the bed. You know, I'll just turn over, make a minor adjustment, and all of a sudden I find like a secret bookcase type spot in the bed. <laughs> uh, and I better go investigate gang Scooby Doo type spot. And this is my flashlight. <laughs> It's, it's like... It, 
It's just like crazy, you know? Meds are such teases. They're like, they're like, here's where, they're like, here's where you're missing, but you have to get up and start your day now, you know? I just wish I could lay there forever, though. It's such a comfortable spot. Those beds, such teases. Okay, really zero transition to leaving this one. But why is it every time that I can't use my hands, or my hands are occupied, my face gets like an itch? It's like as soon as my mind is, as soon as my hands are, are still or I can't use them or they're busy, as soon as it is, it's like panics, like, like what's going on? Hand sectors are still, hand sectors are busy. Oh man, we gotta release an itch on the face, we gotta get this guy down. You, you know, sometimes you'll try and like rub your nose or your chin on your shoulder, but sometimes the itch won't stop. You just have to drop whatever you're doing to scratch it. Alright, all right, we're clear. Hand techers are back on running. You're welcome, boss. No problem. No, not you're welcome. You need to calm down. See, you panic, and that's what happens when you panic. Okay, before I go, I want to close out some advice. I just want everyone to know that it's easy to be a lazy, selfish jerk. But it's important to realize that the world doesn't revolve around you. We're all just specks in the grand scheme of things, which should be humbling to people. You know, no one's perfect, and you can't become a perfect form of yourself. But it's the pursuit of that perfection, rather than just the perfection itself, that's important. You just have to keep living life and continue to grow as a person and just to be honest with yourself and the decisions you make. Alright, alright, that's all for me everyone. Thank you. You guys, you guys are great. Come on.